What if I told you that reading every single day could increase your brain power, reduce stress, and potentially make you richer? In this video, we're gonna dive into the benefits of reading, and I'm also going to share my experiences after reading every single day for 30 days. Make sure you stick around to the end to see how reading can potentially make you richer and to see the list of books that I read over the last 30 days. Let's jump right into it. So the first benefit that I noticed was more clear and concise thoughts. When I was talking to friends or family, I just felt like my flow of speech was much more fluid and I could clearly communicate what I was trying to say. So another benefit that I noticed was reduced stress and anxiety. So on days where I was really stressed out, I just noticed that when I picked up the book and I started reading, all that stress, all that anxiety just completely faded away. And I think that's probably because you're keeping your mind busy opening a book up and reading and you just dive right into the book and you can't really think about anything else because you're just focusing on that book. So another benefit that I noticed from reading every single day was reduced phone time. Like most people, I spend a lot of my time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, social media in general. And I noticed that before bed, I was always looking at my phone. And when I started the reading challenge, it got me to get off my phone before bed, which actually helps you sleep better because you know, you're not really supposed to look at your phone before bed. Looking at the blue light in the phone affects your eyes and and then that can also affect your sleep quality. So I noticed that I was getting much more restful sleep and I noticed that my phone time actually went down because my iPhone shows me my screen time every week and my numbers went down. So that is a plus. All right, now let's jump into the benefits of reading. I found so many interesting benefits, so I have to share them with you guys. And the first one here is that just like exercise is good for your muscles, reading is good for your brain. By reading every day, you keep your brain fresh with new ideas and you ensure that your thinking never grows stale. Let's use a bodybuilder as an example. He works out every single day. He continues to get stronger and bigger. Now, if he takes a few months off, do you think his muscles are going to stay the same size? No. Our brain is the same way. We have to constantly exercise it by reading or doing things that challenge it. That way we can keep progressing and growing. So this next benefit that I'm about to tell you guys is pretty interesting, at least in my opinion. So studies found that reading every single day for six minutes a day, only six minutes, reduced stress by up to 68%. This was compared to walking at 42% and listening to music at 61%. Now, the reason I found this interesting was because not everyone likes reading and not everyone likes walking. Well, I know we have to walk, but I mean, not everyone likes walking for leisure or as a hobby, but music, I've never met anyone who doesn't enjoy listening to music. So the fact that reading was above this in terms of stress reduction is pretty interesting, even if it's only by 7%. Warren Buffett, a businessman, billionaire, and investor, spends most of his day reading and he aims to read around 500 pages per day. That's crazy. Now, I'm not saying you guys have to read 500 pages per day, but that number is pretty commendable. So if you guys want to be like Warren Buffett, start by reading 500 pages per day and who knows, you could become a billionaire. So now we have made it to the last and most interesting benefit. If you guys are still watching, I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below of your favorite color to let me know that you're still here watching. Now let's get into the most interesting benefit that I found. This benefit was found in a book, Change Your Habits, Change Your Life by Tom Corley. In a five-year study, 88% of rich people said that they dedicate at least 30 minutes to education or self-improvement through reading. He also concluded that reading was the main factor in their success. Now, I'm not a math whiz, but I think we can agree that if 88% of rich people read every single day and they contribute it to their success, then there has to be some benefits for you and me. So, will reading every day make you rich? Maybe. But what we do know for sure is that reading every day will increase your chances of managing stress more effectively. It will improve your memory as well as your brain power and overall improve the quality of your life. So if all these things are happening, the financial side of your life will also most likely get a boost. Now let's talk about the books that I have read and I'm still reading. This one, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. I definitely recommend this book for you guys. And he says it in the book. It's, it's one of the books that you read over and over again. It never gets old. It's kind of like the Bible and you're supposed to go in there and highlight it and all that good stuff. This is a, a friend's copy, so I didn't highlight in this one, but I definitely plan on getting my own version of this and reading it and studying it even more. But finish this book and it is a great book, so I highly recommend it. The next book isn't a very popular one, I don't think, but it's called The Power X Strategy and it's all about trading stocks and stuff like that because that's what I do, I trade stocks. So I'm trying to better understand it and what better way than to read some books to increase your knowledge. So I finished this book. It's a great book. If you're into stocks, I recommend reading it. But if you guys aren't into stocks, obviously it's not gonna mean much to you. 
Now the next one that I'm still reading, and it's quite a hefty one, is called Dune. I'm not really ever into fiction books, but as I was studying for this video, I found that reading fiction books is actually really good for the brain. It's good for your emotional intelligence, and it makes you better at understanding people and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool to think about. So I'm about 150 pages into this book, and uh, it's good so far. It's kind of like Game of thrones -y, I guess. I love Game of Thrones, so uh, if any other Game of Thrones fans are out there, make sure to drop a comment down below. But yeah, this book I'm reading right now, and it's pretty good, and I can't wait to finish it, and I guess there's also gonna be a movie coming soon in December, so I can't wait for that as well. So this next book that I'm gonna share is a good book. It's a bit older because I got it from when I was in school still. So I graduated university in 2015, and I started reading this book, I think, in 2014, but since it was required for school, I didn't actually read it. I just read what was required to read and did a test on it. But now I'm actually going through it because I'm doing more social media stuff, and it's all about social media. This one is called Never Eat Alone, and it's a great book so far. I'm more than halfway through the book, so I can't wait to finish this one. It's great for social media, business, and networking, and meeting people, all that good stuff. So definitely recommend it if you're into that. But if you guys are still here through all of my rambling, I really appreciate it. Drop a comment down below with your favorite books, books you plan to read, or books that you've already read. I would love to hear the suggestions, and I will be looking through every comment and responding to every comment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.